So the topic of back with another video, I'm Strange Wayne, he is Nate. Today on Copper Drop, we're looking at the kick-ass still book. Let's get into it. On the front cover, we got Hit Girl, Kick-Ass, and Big Daddy. And you got the plate spattering off of them. You got the Kick-Ass logo, right yellow in the middle, it pops. I kind of wish they wouldn't have put it on there. But where it's at, it, it's not it's not terrible. Yeah, it's okay. It's just, I don't know. It's a little annoying. Mm -hmm. A nitpick. Same thing with the Blu-ray. But that's probably like on the uh, thing that peels off. Right. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. I'm glad they went with a white background. Yeah. Because it pops very well. Mm -hmm. If you remember the uh, kick-ass poster, it was black. And mm -hmm. Nicolas Cage's big daddy just, he was just eyes and a mouth. You know, but I like the plank spider. Didn't they do that in the intro or something? I think so. Yeah, it looks nice. It pops very well off the white. I like it. Yeah, I uh, I really really like it as well. Uh, the colors do just kind of bounce straight off of that steelbook cover, even though like even the part where they all intersect. You know, everyone's still like clearly defined and stands out well enough. So that's pretty cool. I agree with you about the title. Um, you know, I understand. Six and a half hours later. Oh, shit. So which one's right? I noticed that while you were talking, but I don't know which one is right. Maybe it's just all spills off. Yeah. You, you've seen it on camera. So <laughs> yeah. We have, there's two different covers. One has it and one doesn't. I hope it's the one that doesn't have it. I think it's the one that doesn't have it. Yeah. But so, you know, if it is the one that does have it, it's fine. I would have just gotten rid of the 4K Ultra and just put it in smaller font up there in that gap, personally. But hopefully it's someone that doesn't have it at all. Regardless, I think it's pretty fucking dope. We should review that, shouldn't we? I don't know. I think it's funny. Okay. We got our head up. Ah. We got our heads out of our asses, looked a little bit closer, so we made sure we didn't mess up the spine. On the spine, you got a kick-ass yellow on his green coming off, and then it's just paint, paint, paint splatter. Yeah. And one of his little sticks. Right. If they would have went with a black cover, I know you would be fuming. You hate that. <laughs> yeah, I would have, um, but I'm not because they didn't. And so the thing is, this is a really cool, unique spine because, like, uh, you're not going to have one other one on the shelf like it. No, right. It, th that is the definition of unique. Shut up, stupid! I kind of wish they would have just let the stick not be on there because it's like all this really dope paint splatter and then a stick. But that's like super nitpicky. Uh, and I'm really fine with it. But in terms of spines compared to all the other spines that are on my shelves and the many, many more spines that are on your shelves, uh, that would be one of my favorite to just kind of look at my shelf and see every once in a while. So I love that spine. So on the back, you got Mark Strong, you got McLovin. What's it, what's his name in this? It's like fuck something. Isn't I it? can't remember. But you got red and blue coming off of them. That looks awkward. Yeah, no, one hundred percent looks like he's about to teabag Mark Strong. Ew. Well, I mean, it fits with like the humor of the movie, right? So, I mean, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it does for sure. But you know, same aesthetic as the front. Like, you know, you got your character and a color associated with them and paint, paint, paint splatter coming off of them. So I still really, really dig it. Although they did put McLovin because who cares what his real name is or what his name is in any other movie. He will always be McLovin. His name's Motherfucker. Yeah, McLovin. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, they did put him in a really awkward position. So that's funny. But it really might have been intentional knowing this film. So. Yeah. So... Title of the show, Copper Drop. Are we copping it? Are we buying it? Are we dropping it? Not buying it. I own this movie on a regular Amore. This still book is beautiful. However, the last time I watched Kick That uh last time I watched Kick Ass on Blu-ray, I was in high school. I've been out of high school quite some time. This is a movie I go back and revisit. So it's gonna be a pass for me just because it's like it's gonna sit on the shelf, it's gonna collect us. But it's a beautiful still book. Yeah, uh, I've been out of high school even longer than you, and it's probably been even longer since I've watched Kick-Ass than you. 
But I remember liking it a lot, and it's been always kind of been a movie that I've wanted to go back and revisit. And what better opportunity to go back and revisit with this dope steel book? Like, that thing's beautiful. That's a great yeah, steel book. It is. So it's definitely a cop for me, uh, and definitely one that I'm a little bit more excited about than others. So. Well, tell us down below in the comment section. You copy, you drop, and scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red stick.